These fish that we're stocking today, they come from um, lake up behind Pikes Peak. So it was a wild spawn. The biologist went up and spawned the fish, brought the eggs down. We brought the eggs down to Mount Shavanaugh Hatchery and eyed them there and raised them up. And they're about an inch and a quarter long today. We will be stocking about 70,000 of these from the airplanes today in northern Colorado. It's efficient. We can get a large quantity of fish into um, high mountain lakes that are basically only accessible by foot or horseback. So the biologists sample the lakes and they go in and, and see what kind of uh, populations are in the lake, determine the public use, how many, how big the lake is, and how many fish they want to put in there. And then they, they send those requests down to us at the hatchery and, and uh, we raise the fish and try to fill those requests. It depends on the size of the fish. And so we have a, a spreadsheet that you enter in their size and it uh, will tell you how many milliliters you need per fish. Rainbow, big. So we have nine tubes and we can dump them down into the lower hopper. We uh, dump whatever tubes uh, are for the lake off the manifest that we have. And then um, we can do two tubes at a time down and they have oxygen going through them to keep the fish alive. And, in good shape and then this is the uh, trip arm and it just opens it flips over by this solenoid with a trigger that's up here by the throttle so when we get over the lake we just pull the trigger and uh, and the fish go into the lake we're about a we're usually about a hundred feet over the lake try to get about 70 miles an hour 75 something like that Show up at the airport the hatchery shows up with the fish that we need for the day we've already done the logistics um, the background loaded the gps's gotten the route set up of the lakes we want to stock um, we've coordinated with the biologist and the hatchery as to how many fish we need what lakes need how many fish and we're kind of the last step in the process after they get done growing them and uh, getting them to that stage we take off um, fly over the lakes, check out the weather, see if there's much wind on the lake. We try to do it early in the morning when the lakes are the calmest. Um, and then uh, check out, look for where the sun's coming from, we look for uh, any power lines in the area, any old mining cables, any hazards that may be there, and plan the approach and then just do the approach into the lake, get about 100 feet over the lake, 150, and uh, slow it down to about 80 knots, 75, and, and drop the fish um, into the lake. And then uh, we'll go towards the outlet, so we're always uh, exiting towards the lowest point of the lake. The, the 
they're so small that they're they don't have a lot of mass to them so their acceleration rate's pretty low they stop pretty quickly as they go out of the plane so our cue is once the strut passes the edge of the lake we can dump uh, depending on what the winds are doing then the the you know their heads are kind of the heaviest part so they tend to uh, go head first and uh, just drop straight into the water and the idea is to be slow enough that the water somewhat stays with them and also that they don't dry out on the way down so that's why we're dropping them low and, and as slow as possible. I've been doing it about 18 years it's still fun it's still one of the favorite parts of my job.